In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let's try that again. What do you all say together? Amen. Very good. Who heard the gospel this morning? Can I see hands? Okay. In the gospel, we hear about how Jesus got his first four disciples. It happens in Luke chapter 5. In Luke chapter 4, we've talked about Christ in the wilderness, and then he comes out, and he starts to walk through Galilee, and he goes by the side of the sea, and he decides to preach. But the crowd is so big that there's no room for him to stand on the shore. Have you ever stood by a lake with a crowd? Have you ever been almost pushed into the water? Can you imagine it? Think about it. Because this is what was happening to Jesus that day. So he sees a boat. He actually sees two boats, but he picks one of them. He calls them over and he says, Would you mind? Can I stand in your boat so I'm in the water? And then the people can crowd right up to the edge of the, edge of the shore like they want to. And then I can preach and they can hear me. So the person who owns the boat says, Okay, sure, whatever. I didn't catch any fish today. Maybe this will be interesting. Right? And Jesus preaches. And then he says to the man, Okay, my sermon's over. Let's go back out into the water and you cast your net into the, uh, into the water and we'll catch some fish. And the man says, Okay, if you say so. But, you know, we were out there all night long. We put our nets down over here, we put our nets down over there, we dragged them back and forth, and we didn't catch a single fish. I swear there aren't any fish in this lake. Have you ever been fishing and thought there aren't any fish here? Okay. So, and Jesus says, cast it over anyway. And they put the net in the water, and all of a sudden they catch a hundred, a thousand, a million fish. Not a million, but a lot of fish. It's like all of a sudden, fish are there that just were hiding all day long. There are so many fish that it's about to pull the boat down underwater. It's so heavy. So the boat has to call its friends. They have to call their friends to come over with the other boat and help. And there are still so many fish that the boats are almost sinking. And the man in the boat says, Lord, he thinks to himself, something's going on. I know there weren't any fish here before. This is a miracle. And if this is a miracle, then this is the man that did the miracle. And if he did the miracle, then I'm in trouble because I am a sinful man. So he says, Lord, go away from me. I'm not worthy to have you here. He recognizes something amazing has happened. And Jesus says, don't be afraid. From now on, you'll catch men, not fish. And then he calls him to follow him. Do you know what the man's name was? Hmm? Well, Jesus, yes, he was the one who was preaching. But who was the man with the boat? We hear about him a lot. It was actually two brothers. Do we have any, one named Andreas here today? Do we have anyone named Peter? Because these were the two brothers who had the boat, except Peter's name was Simon then. Jesus changed his name afterwards. But this is how Jesus got his first two disciples. And then their friends, their names were James. Anyone here named James? There we go. And John, who's named Yanni? There we go. So, four disciples from a very bad day of fishing or a bad night. Jesus can turn anything into good. So I would ask you, the next time you're fishing, has anyone gone fishing? Who goes fishing here? Can I see hands? Okay, not enough. The next time you go fishing or boating or are out by a lake at all, think about Peter and Andrew, the fishermen, and their friends, James and John, and how one day, a bad day, they hadn't gotten any sleep, they'd had a horrible day of work, nothing had gone right all day long. On a very bad day, all of a sudden, Jesus was with them, and their bad day had turned into the first day of the rest of their lives. Think about it. Jesus is always there, 
ready to turn our day from bad into good. Okay? Any questions? That's a dangerous question for me to ask. All right. Then let's stand up and we'll receive communion together.